hi guys so the moment of result of yesterday analysis and entry point yeah i know i didn't say i will take any entry but i took later in the day and literally for last two hours i am sitting on my chair and thinking how should i explain you what had happened as you can remember i had made some notes i will buy euro gp if is it at support and making 50 ema so did i do that euro gp yes i did buy but my stop loss was hit why okay it's euro gp euro gp let's find out oh i have to go to euro pair coming to euro pair euro gp what had happened so it was like it has to break this resistance area then it has to go up and coming back to support i will take my entry at this level so as you can see this was the hammer this was the bullish candle i took the entry at this point putting the stop loss at here and by god my stop loss was hit it's because yeah it moved to the direction I predicted, but my stop loss was hit. And uh, I have no expression for this one. I have two assumptions anyway. First assumption is like my support is a stop loss should be below this range. That one, but the stop loss will be too much to handle for me. It will be around. 151 pips to profit 155 not good second it was friday on friday public emotions plays up and uh, sellers take the advantage of that point so big buyers big traders took takes advantage of that point and it um, he did a stop loss and it went back to the same position so my stop loss was hit what was my second i said i will sell euro gpp euro jpy euro yen euro yen at 50 ema and taking the benefit of range so it is trading in range actually euro jpy yep it was trading in range and i said i will put the stop loss of inter sale did i took the sale either jpy yes i took the sale but my stop loss was hit so sad to hear that what had happened again it was like i entered for sale at 50 and my stop loss was just above this candle this uh, black candle uh, i entered after this one and my stop loss was hit just because of how many points were like here something my stop loss was euro jpy 150 23 150 0.23 ah. and my stop loss was hit for will not believe 0 0.23 So this candle moved around 37 means just for 0.15 pip my stop loss was hit so what should be i have done should i have taken my stop loss above this resistance uh, range then my risk to reward ratio had been very bad it's like 350 to 700 okay so here i could have done one thing which was stop loss to be pre previous support candle so pre previous from here the previous pre previous support candle was this one so if i put in my stop loss above this candle my stop loss must have not been hit secondly i have to master the atr which was which is being taught by deep trading channel guru actually i don't recall this name whatever 
it is a 223 i don't know if how should i read this ktr for stop loss for seeing this candle if i put it above this candle it would have been my profit but it went for loss and it literally gave me one to do this so even if i put it uh, if i put above this one let's see how much it was giving me the rich, rich reward entered here it was stop loss of uh, 330 profit is of 3 to 6 660 yep 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 it was a good profit one is to one ratio but i lost it coming back uh, in euro gp again did i there is any pre previous candle it is here the pre previous candle and uh, uh previous candle basically and it is also below so in this case there is nothing i can do this beyond my thinking the stop loss was hit i got out my thinking was good the market played me it's normal being played so sometimes you play the game sometimes you play the player so sometimes i play the trade sometimes the trade plays me so it's the same thing looking at zau gold which i said i will trade but i didn't trade actually let's see what had happened in gold i was expecting that sell signal why sell signal i don't know oh -ho. no comment in a day okay so it was taking a support in week and we're going up i don't know why so i, I said i look for sales signal anyway i didn't found any sales signal on 50 or 21 ema so that's good for me beside this the other trade so you can image gpcd i took it though two days back and the two days back it was running in profit of 26 dollar yesterday it was running in loss of 21 dollar so i stated i will stay to look into it but when i came back afternoon gbcad so i saw that the market is taking you remember my psychology remember i think i told you something you remember something like that that if it is a uh, down same uh if let's say the market is going down and it is making double bottom or double top on the same area it means the market will continue. So even though it shows the uh, bottom tweezer here, I took the inter long, but uh, obviously it was a only one day trade and it came down. So when I saw in our one, I can see the market is uh, moving. It's going down. And so I exited when it was across there when making $4 loss. So it was a what? A mutual understanding between me and market. Market said, yo, no. Like you can't take profit on this trade. And I was like, okay, I will not take profit on this trade. And I exited out. We already discussed about Euro GP, Euro GPY. Now GP, JPY. So there is no notes for me to buy this one. But I saw good, uh, I saw big support area. And I decided to take a sell trade at this level. And something bad happened the market blacked me out the stop loss was hit i'm trying to study one fibonacci also when uh sorry let me flip this one let me draw have patience with me uh so it's like fibonacci but in fibonacci so this candle this candle had not touched the 50 ema and this was also not touching 50 ema why I don't know what is happening here, bro. Somebody help me. Let me make a little, make a little bit. Okay, it is coming from that level and it is going to a uh, oh shit. So it was respecting my Fibonacci 38 also. Also at the same time, it was making the support at 21 EMA. And I think I should not trade 21 EMA that's not good here i should trade 21 ema if i can see so long story short stop loss was hit the previous support candle was this one so if i had taken the stop loss i've entered here 
and second surplus of here 500 something let's say 600 yep my least reward was to be must have been captured so there's two way of taking the trade as i can remember one was which was told by the trading channel that i should follow some atr i mentioned you can see atr i am using rsi for final diversion also i've added the atr here so that i can use it in stop loss but i am not yet able to know find out how can i use it i have to see his video again and again so somehow i am able to look for the market and go how it is going so one thing as i can say you my rule number one master rule no trading on monday and friday because monday and friday are the days when the trader falls into emotion if they are trading let's say they're trading all week profit on friday they can suffer a huge loss or all week they have suffered loss so they will try to recover um, recover those losses so on friday it is the best day for the big seller the big 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 dealer big what can say big boss yeah so it's the best day for big boss to scare us out to play with us our emotion so other days you can see that our support the candlestick that 21 year uh uh 21 ema supposes are making good decision but on friday it is still making good decision but stop loss is being hit so people get uh trapped in this one so yep my rule is no trading on friday monday but still i need to understand how the big boss plays with me so i can be i can play the game with him you understand na? the mutual understanding he plays with me i plays with him and we enjoy a lot again coming back to this one uh gbp chf it was in a support area i came back later on that time and i can see the candle forming at 21 ema can you see it 21 ema the hammer formed and the engulfing form this candle was very good so i entered here book the stop loss of oh my god 100 something 100 uh, 723 i entered at 10615 10615 and the stop loss was 723 723 somewhere here so i think 100 100 100 100 110 and the profit was 200 but the the big boss didn't want me to go and have fun so he pulled me down and uh, i suffered the loss so this small one you can see this one this white box i pip, i made this up today after all these things happened initially it was this one and then i tried to find out a way uh, how should i have taken the trade properly so soon the, my range would have been this one to this one and uh, so let me take to this time so my range so it was in came in my range and supported 21 ema so i want to write one more rule which i can see Let me put it like this. No TRADI trading 21, 21 EMA EMA on the AOI 50 EMA is good. So this EMA is indicator never trade indicator on its own indicator should be supportive to your other analysis so first analysis should be trained second stop support and listen level then only you can look for 21 or 50 ema 
This is called the indicator. Never trade indicator on its own because it will make you suffer the loss. You should always follow trend then enter. So, so seeing all five uh, four transaction which I suffered the loss, I can say that on Friday trading 21 EMA is a bad decision. So I suffered the loss, and if I go to hour four, so hour four I can't say anything. Hour one, it was breaking out of the zone basically, and it was a good thing to book a long big profit. And how much profit did I expect in this one? 377. It was around 300 points only. Problem. 10. Okay, two D days. I was expecting from here to here to D days, 377, something like that. But it was a break of the zone here. I don't know why I didn't took the zone because it is breaking of the zone. And how come this range is being populated? This range, I made a mistake in PPA this range, I think. In hour four, hour one, the range was only this one. I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. And my TP would have been next support level. Next support level was this one. Okay. So it was a big loss. Big, what can I say? <laughs> Let me so tell you how much the, this trade should have the profit. This trade should have been the profit of uh, 11, 120 dollar across. This trade had the potential profit of yeah, 120. Save a profit of 120, I can say. 120 dollar, which I could not realize. So, this breakout is this case where you can have 5 is to 1 ratio. Let me tell you. <clears throat> Trend continuation 1 is to 2 is good. Within range, you can say Range, uh, range area that can be three one is to three or one is to four when it is range break so you can easily expect one is to five one is to six profit ratio that is next support level which i missed even though my analysis was good i don't know what had happened sometimes something happened i don't know and i'm oh, not going to regret it it's all part of big boss plan and my <coughs> coming to last pair, CAD, CHA. I think I have mentioned this one, right? Let me see. <coughs> yeah, I mentioned, I mentioned very, very, very important. Find by signal on one hour. It's also break zone at four hour. To enter trend, the trend is a daily trend is of the trend we are following is of daily, which is up. So, CAD, CHF. So, I found the trend. I don't know how it happens. So, weekly downtrend daily. It was dozy in daily. So Doji represents that. So Doji doesn't represent anything. Doji means this is a, a range in market. This is indecision market. So the market can go any side. So the so date time frame is saying that forget the trend right now. Our four. Our four is saying that you can follow the downtrend <clears> our <throat> one is in a range and uh, my stability was to trade in this zone this is no trade zone i deserve this loss i totally deserve this 14 dollar loss 
it was a no trade zone it was a dozy and no trade zone so i deserve to lose here and i think i should not trade 21 ema anymore but i was suggested no it depends it totally depends i have to find out where to not trade 21 ema that's very important okay so i incurred the loss of 64 dollar yesterday uh and uh, talking about a different trend these two are going long this two trade was taken on a daily basis so gpnjd is still running the profit of 140 uh, 91 and gpud the profit of 55 so do you want to me to show this two also let's go there and actually i want to show one two to want to show you this also so coming to gpaud it's in a range so it's nothing that can be done and uh, there is no you can't see diversion here you can let me show you something the market is in upside and it is in same level so it is showing as overbought but the diversion didn't come here so if the diversion had come i would have exited and booked a small profit but there is no diversion so there is a most chance the market will still continue so we will see that and it is indecision in the time frame so it can go up again so nothing to see here so that's why i didn't exit from this trade coming to gp and jd gp and jd what has happened the market was going up very good it came back this is the support area you can see the big resistance area the big resistance area was break broke out it came back and formed the support this is 21 ema see 21 ema so is the best time to enter the trade here it would have been the best time to enter the trade here and obviously my next top take profit at this level and daily time frame but for hourly time frame i would have taken the entry here this level with the stop loss of 350 pips approx no my previous below candle is this black one my mistake i my stop loss should be a little more uh, planned one now because it is being hit most of the time so when i'm trading of 21 ema i have to see for the previous black candle which is this so my stop loss will be 500 and my tp will be next support area which have could have been this one this one support area so 500 to 1000 yeah i can say that good <coughs> so my stop loss would be this 500 and my tp would be in this one uh <coughs> 1000 So this this to reward is so that makes sense then. Yep, this level. And uh, date hour four. So let's see on Monday. I think Monday it will again come down to this black level. This point. Let me make one more diagram. Or it can directly go up. or it can play with the public emotion and anybody who has uh uh put has uh, made the stop loss put the stop loss at this level those stop loss would be hit and it will go up again so it's all the part of big plan the market is going up there is no diversion you can see the market uh, the rsi is still at the same level so there is no diversion that market will come down so we are good on monday i will move my stop i think i don't can move my stop right now on monday i'll put my stop is below this black candle here or somewhere here okay that's it so my stop loss the loss which i incurred yesterday is 65 dollar let's say 64 dollar 